G'day guys. Um, so I've noticed a few people say they've been having issues with the Spine of Deathwing, in particular trying to solo it. So I'm here to show you that if I can do it, you can too. Um, this is a, a quite neglected character. He's level 50, um, 67 item level. You know, I, I don't play him that much as you can tell from his dozen abilities on his action bars. So we'll start this off and hopefully you'll forgive the uh, on-the-spot commentary as we go. Uh, this is on 25-man uh, Heroic. Mythic didn't exist back then, so this is the hardest you, hardest difficulty you can do. I'm going to start off by taking care of all these corruptions. We're then going to stand in one of the wounds, and all these amalgamations are about to get yeeted. And that's fine, because the corrupted bloods don't, and that's what we're after. So, they're going to go flying. There they go. And now we just wait. And that's pretty much all this fight is, is it's just a, a waiting game. It's quite tedious. There's two ways you can do this. You can do it the way I'm doing it now, where you just stand in the tether and don't really do anything until you've got enough corrupted bloods. Or you can run left to right, left to right. Uh, so, you just finish rolling then. So, you can stand on the left... And then you can move over to the right, and then you can move over to the left, and then you can move over to the right, and pretty much you can just do exactly the same thing by just doing this over and over again, and he won't roll. Or alternatively, like I said, you can just sit in the tether. This is trivial content, so none of this is going to do any damage to you, I'm pretty sure it's just, yeah, one fire, one physical damage, so... I think we'll be okay. So I've not been keeping track of how many bloods are there, so we'll just take them out. And that's going to leave the little uh, fire blobs on the ground. And that's what we're after. So Deathwing rolls. So we're going to kill that corruption. That's going to spawn our amalgamation. We're going to do our little left to right until he comes over. So we take him over, all our little bloods. And he's going to get empowered by them. You're going to want to try and keep to just single targeting these bloods if you don't have enough of them. Just because, again, it's trivial content, so you'll probably one-shot the amalgamation and then you have to do this all over again. So now he's at nine stacks, he's gone into superheated nucleus. So we're going to attack him now. He's going to do his nuclear blast. It's going to lift the plate up. We're then going to take out the tendant. And there we go. Phase 2. Which is pretty much just the same thing. So the longest part of this fight is the start of the fight. Because it's the shortest amount of, uh, of blood spawning least amount of blood spawning I should say. So we're just going to stay in the tether, wait until he rolls, the amalgamations are gone, we're going to clean up these bloods, and we should have enough here, like you only need nine. And as long as you move from left to right, like you just keep moving left to right, you're going to be fine. You got about five to seven seconds each side, so nothing to really worry about. So he's gonna move back, there we go. He's gonna do his blast. You can do it uh, you can do the blast on either side, left or right, it doesn't matter. And rinse and repeat. Same thing again. So we're just moving left to right. Just going to stay on the right. Wait until he rolls. Get rid of these amalgamations. And this isn't a exact how you must do it. Like Everyone does it their own way. This is just a pretty easy way I've found to do it. And as I said, at uh, level 50, 
any any character can do this. If you're a ranged character, you're gonna have a easier time. In melee, it's a little bit more difficult, but not that much, not really. So there we go. Just walk over these blondes. One more. There we go. Right, take the tendon out. And there you go, done. How to solo the spine of Deathwing. Yeah. So I hope that helped you guys out so that you can see that anyone can do that. It's pretty easy once you uh, get the hang of it. And yeah, best of luck, guys. <laughs>